Hey guys, it's your boy Just Grave giving you another episode of the Expresso Shot. Let's get right into it. Google has a product called the Chromecast. It's a small little HDMI dongle that you put right behind your TV that has Hulu, Netflix, and a whole bunch of different apps that they keep adding onto their store for the Chromecast. And they also have a neat little feature that you can cast pretty much anything from your laptop and pretty much anything from your phone, your Android phone. They might have it for iOS, but if you have a, a iOS device, you most likely will have like an Apple TV and it'll be way a way better experience. But they're coming out with a new product called the Chromebook, which I feel like they probably should have changed the name, not so they wouldn't confuse the two products. The Chrome, um, not the Chromebook, it's a Chrome Bit. My bad, guys. The Chrome Bit is a Chrome OS dongle. That's a hundred bucks that they worked with ASUS with, and pretty much you get the whole Chrome OS software. I never understood the Chrome OS software because why would I? I rather have a netbook with a full, with full functional applications from either from either a Linux from any Linux distros or from from Windows because the Chrome they don't really have a lot of powerful devices uh, powerful programs my bad powerful programs but they do have a lot of awesome online uh online um services and that's what the chromebook the chromebook and chrome os is about being connected online so it makes sense for a tv dongle because you'll be you're not bringing your tv outside so once you bring out your chrome os your chrome os chromebook outside and you don't have a dat like data for it or you don't have Wi-Fi for it it's pretty much useless because it, usually they have like 65 gigs of memory and they don't really have a big storage of memory unless you have um, like a little uh, external hard drive or something like that that on your person so it didn't really make any sense to me but this seems a little uh, seems cool but I'll stick with the Chromecast the Chromecast is only 30 bucks this is extra 70 bucks and you're going to be doing the same thing really and was it with an extra 50 bucks you probably can get a chrome laptop which would at least be a portable this is a of course also portable you can bring it to your friends house and stuff like that but why would you want a chrome os which chrome os is more for like students and if you're just like messing around and you want to you want a cheap oh a cheap a device to um you know do your papers and stuff like that i don't see the unless you can uh boot android tv which is a different software and it looks pretty cool or android tv it looks really awesome that would be awesome if you can just uh make a rom because that like pretty much every single android device you can just you can root if you can root it you probably could put a rom on it and that would be amazing. Just root it and just have Android TV on it. Because that makes sense. Why have an Android Chrome OS when you have a TV operated system that you're putting on all these new TVs coming out this year and not put it on that little dongle. But I digress. In more Google news, for April's Fools, Google has made Pac-Man? Pretty much, you can play Pac-Man on any street, well, almost any street. You could change the whole map into a Pac-Man map. So check it out, guys. Just go to Google Maps, and you'll probably see it. It's like this little icon. You press it, and it goes. It changes your, changes the the where you're at that map into a little Pac-Man uh, game. So enjoy, guys. Twitch has just updated their iOS and Android app to include multitask features. One feature is being able to watch a stream and look for other streams while you're watching said stream. It, if like if you don't like the stream or it's getting boring and you want to switch right now, you want to switch, you can just look for another stream. Like, oh, I'm watching Call of Duty. It's getting boring. Let me look for, oh, Magic the Gathering. Or, oh, this Hearthstone is on. This guy, I really like him, his Hearthstone um, commentary. I'll click him. And if you if you just want to get rid of that stream, you can swipe it away just like you could do on on YouTube, and it'll just go right away. For I um for Android, 
they have an extra feature for uh, background play. So you can play the audio in the background while you're playing using another app. You can even be playing another game, like a mobile game, and you can still be listening to that commentary. If you just like listening to the commentary or you want to treat it like, make it like a podcast, you could do that. So you could do this lock your screen and just do something else while it's running. Microsoft has just announced this Surface 3. Uh, it's pretty much going to be $500 pretty much the same price as the newest iPad, I believe. Um, the thing about the Surface Pro is they are trying to market to people that don't really care about computers. Um, for the average person, most people are just about worried about like sta like um, status sy symbols. That's why Apple is done pretty well because it's a premium brand I live in Harlem, so I know about people that just buy things just because it's expensive. When I grew up, people was like, oh, wow, your jeans are only 20 bucks. Oh, you got that from Payless. You just got that from Payless. There's a whole bunch of people that I know that grown up in that mentality that don't, that they don't have, like, they won't have food. They won't have, a like, they won't have their rent paid. But they'll get those two hundred, four hundred dollars shoes for from Jordan or Nike, or from any place because people are materialistic. Or they got that that new those new True Religions for like three hundred bucks, or that new that watch that they took they saved like three or four paychecks to get, or that only one shirt that they wanted so bad that was like a hundred bucks, and they they use all their money their savings for it. So yeah, so the baseline is gonna be five hundred bucks, and it'll of course get more expensive. The baseline is uh, I think sixty four gigs, and if you want anything else, you just uh you know, move you just uh you know stack on get more memory whatever whatever. But the the people that want a powerful device, if they really want it, they're not gonna buy the Surface, because if I want uh for the people that they're trying to get that want tablets are not buying the tablets because the tablets are for them that's going to help improve their workload they're just buying because oh i have a tablet i could just stunt like oh i have a tablet you see i got this big ass tablet see guys i'm gonna take a picture with a tablet <laughs> i'm gonna walk outside and make take a picture with a tablet star citizen has just revealed their new of uh, ship called the Aegis vanguard and it is 250 bucks. Can't pay 250 dollars for a digital ship that can be blown up anytime. Once that, once the game comes out, and you have to have insurance, so you're paying insurance on that too. So, every, so you pay that, and but what insurance? Probably what 10 bucks or something like that. So every time your ship blows up, and you get the insurance payout, and you get the ship again, you have to pay another 10 dollars to put back on insurance. Or if it's a monthly thing, like a real car. I don't even have a car. Why do I fucking need insurance on a ship? Uh. Alright, calm down. Calm down, just Breathe. Alright, guys. On that note, that's the end of this um, espresso shot. Like, subscribe, share us around, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.